So, what is actually going on? So, what's actually going on is I'm trying to make a shaft that fits. Camera focus. That fits this because um, it's like the part where the impeller goes on. So probably to explain a bit better, I'm trying to build a, a model jet engine. So this is the compressor wheel. Um, and essentially I need through the back there to be a shaft that goes onto, um, onto this basically um, in order to connect to like the main, I think it's called like the impeller. So essentially that's going to house that. Um, and I've also got this combustion chamber which uh, I probably I probably won't do this. I've got a better way of making one, but at the moment this is what I'm using. So specifically on this, the inside of this is 18.9 millimeters, and it's got 22 millimeters on this um, shaft that I've got here. So I'm trying to just whittle that down to 18.9 um, in order to basically be able to slot that in It's very close, I need another mill.
we might be done. So, live center. Um, yeah, it's probably add this isn't amazingly accurate work. I'm not like a professional, you can probably obviously tell. Um, but I'm learning, I'm doing what I can. It's a hobby lathe. So, what we're left with. is this which should hopefully fit into this it's probably not exact but uh, right. um, yeah it's not an exact fist but the inside isn't actually straight my plan really is to um, ideally weld around here and then just like recenter everything. So I'm kind of just trying to do what I can because the issue I had was that my um, my lathe doesn't actually fit like large pieces. So I've kind of had to elaborate. Like this is actually like all of these air kind of uh, these air passages. They're all um, this is 3D printed because I figured that as this is the cold side of the um, of the engine, that actually it doesn't need to be um, it doesn't need to be made of metal that part. Plus, I could only get um, so it's essentially like an insert, which I'll probably build some sort of screw that fits on. So you've got that, and then it this is kind of like an extra piece that fits on. It was quite nice because obviously I don't have like a four or five axis lathe or whatever to make something this precise, but on 3D printing it's quite easy to do. So you can actually just uh, design it in 3D and then just print what you want. I mean, um, I don't know if like casting this or something would be quite good, like some sort of like, if I was to make this out of wax, this, this ring here, and then um, make a mould for it out of this, then cast it in, like cast a wax copy of it and then make a mould and then kind of drop forge some oning in or something, I don't know. Um, this is coming together though. The real, um, the real problem I'm going to have actually, well not problem, the difficulty here is going to be boring um, a hole through this. It's going to be quite intensive, um, so I'm going to have to look at that. Obviously like, I don't think I don't know if this shaft is going to be like ideal, but to be honest, it's, the, it's my first one, so um, you live, you learn. Obviously, if I had some uh, larger machine, maybe I could. Um, but I don't have an indexer either. So, so yeah, turbine shaft. And this, I have this sort of just chamber, maybe not exactly this chamber, but this sort of chamber that's going to fit onto it like that. And then that's going to go inside a larger housing. Um, and then some sort of like, kind of, maybe that, like some sort of shaft or something from the other side. Unsure at this point. Um, I've got some sheets, like it's like sheet steel or like a, it might be nickel, I don't know. Um, which I, I've got a little spot welder, so the plan would be to make one of these from scratch. This is actually um, golden syrup tin that I've kind of tried to repurpose. And then I'm going to have to make like um, the other piece that goes here that directs the, um, like that actually directs the exhaust into this, which is connected to the shaft, which I hopefully should then turn, turn the... Uh, the main impeller shaft. Yeah, lost for words today. Well, um, so that's pretty much it for now. It's a very short, uh, short session. Uh, got this up and running. Um, I could do a quick tour of the mini workshop. 
I've built in my place. So, I'll just pause here a second. Okay, so essentially we've got um, a cupboard with a light, and we've got all my parts on top, a pillar drill down there, the lathe, and just some storage. So yeah, it's not very big. Drill here. And I've got the lathe with all my parts and stuff. And I've got just random electronic parts and put all my uh, boxes up there. But yeah, that's pretty much it.